Well, good day, everyone. My name is uh, Dr. Tam Nguyen. I'm a radiation oncologist here at Ironwood Cancer and Research Center in Mesa Arbor office. Today, I'd like to talk to you on the topic of uh, obtaining a second opinion. Now, let's define what is a medical second opinion. Well, it's a conscious decision on your part to see another doctor or specialist especially after you had obtained an initial diagnosis or treatment plan for a certain medical condition. Now the second specialist or physician that you uh, go see may render an opinion regarding your diagnosis or treatment plan. In some instances, his or her opinion may be a bit different from the original physician. Next, let's talk about when we should consider obtaining a second medical opinion. Um, now the circumstances may vary, but most folks would think that these are what would drive someone to have a second opinion. Um, scenario number one, you have a rare condition or even a life-threatening condition. Scenario number two, your diagnosis is not very clear or scenario number three, where the treatment that's being offered is somewhat experimental. Or scenario number four, maybe none of the above three apply to you, but perhaps you just want simple peace of mind. But let's talk about the goals behind obtaining a second medical opinion. Well, the first thing you should uh, make sure is that the diagnosis that you were given is actually correct and that all the appropriate tests have been correctly interpreted and ordered. The second uh, goal is to make sure that the treatment plan is the appropriate one. And in the third scenario, maybe you have multiple treatment options. You, you want to compare each outcome of each treatment option with respect to the success rate. And not only that, you want to compare the side effects because that can impact the quality of life. And finally, obtaining all these different opinions from other experts can only empower you to make a, the best decision in regard to your health care. Our last topic for today is to consider how does one go about obtaining a second medical opinion. It can be as simple as asking your uh, primary physician for a referral to a specialist. You also want to make sure that your health plan covers uh, the uh, second medical opinion. You want to make sure that your second physician have access to all your medical records. And in a lot of instances, telemedicine visit can be offered, which take away some of the geographical restrictions and traveling costs. And that ends our little topic on second medical opinion for the day. I thank you for your attention. If you or your loved ones should have any questions, we here at the Ironwood Cancer Research Center are always available to assist you. Thank you.